episode of Sissy Can Cook. Today I'm going to show you how to make my delicious southern style lemon cream cheese pound cake. This recipe is so easy to make and is absolutely delicious. The cake is super light and moist. As you can see it just falls apart. And um, just let me show you what you need to make this. So let me take you over the ingredients you need to create this deliciousness. You need flour, which has already been sifted. Um, my butter and cream cheese are already at room temperature. This is very important when you're baking a cake because if you want your cake to be really moist and soft, this is one of the key secrets. Um, I have a Mayer lemon here. Use any kind of lemon or any kind of citrus, really. But then, you know, if you use orange, then it wouldn't be um, a lemon cream cheese pound cake. It would be an orange cream cheese, which doesn't really matter. Sugar, my sugar has already been sifted. You need eggs, also at room temperature. Again, very, very important that everything, liquid um, ingredients uh, and wet ingredients are at room temperature. And I've also got my um, uh, my bun pan here. It's a 10 inch bun pan, which has been greased to perfection because what's the point of baking something if you're not going to be able to take it out? Also, I have my vanilla. I, instead of using vanilla extract, I'm actually going to use uh, my Paniangeli Vanillina. This is just Italian powder vanilla. You can totally use vanilla extract or vanilla paste, will go amazing with this. But um, this is what I have. I really love the flavor that this gives to the cakes. So let's get started. I'll show you the next step. Okay, so we're going to start by adding our butter and cream cheese. I like to cream these two together. So my butter and my cream cheese, and I'm going to have this go on um, medium speed. And I just want this to get like really, really creamy. So I'm going to show you once we're there. All right, so this is kind of like what do you want it to look like. As you can see, it's, it's creaming. This is like what you want it to look like, but I'm gonna let this go for another couple of minutes, and then we're gonna add our sugar. I'll show you that step in just a moment. So now all I'm gonna do is scrape the sides, and lastly, this has been going for about two to three minutes now, but I'm gonna put it on high, as high as your a mixer can go or your handheld mixer you can totally do this by hand however you know in order to do it by hand like without using a mixer just like a whisk you would have to have your ingredients especially your butter and your cream cheese out for at least you know four to five hours just to have it really soft because it will not work um, okay so I'm just gonna let this go for 30 seconds on high and then we're gonna add our sugar so at this point we're gonna add our sugar just like so, you know, a little bit at a time. This is the time where you wanna make it rain, you know? Just like this, just like so. You wanna put it on low and then gradually start going on a little bit of a higher speed. Just make sure you don't get sugar all over you because that will not be pretty. Um, so just start making it a little bit higher. And then we're going to let this go for another two minutes, and then we're going to add our eggs. Okay, so now I'm going to add my vanilla. I'm actually going to add this to my eggs. My vanilla. And if you had, if you were using any other kind of vanilla, you would do it the same way. And I'm just going to give it a little toss. And this is just going to flavor your eggs and also flavor your um, your mixture of um, cream cheese and buttercream and sugar. So we're going to add our eggs one at a time. And we're going to increase the speed. You want to do this for each one. One at a time. Increase the speed, mix it well, then the other one. And I'll show you um, once we're done the following step. Now while our eggs are mixing, are mixing in and incorporating, I'm just going to um, scrape this lemon. And I want big chunks, that's why I'm not using um, the smaller part. And you just want to make sure you stop. So I'm grating, I'm just finishing up grating my lemon here. And like I said, I want big chunks because after all, you know, I did name this 
um, a lemon cream cheese pound cake. So I need the lemon to be in there and you just want the yellow part, obviously. And then I'm gonna add this to my mixture and then we'll add the flour. All right, so let's just add the lemon zest at this point. All in there. I find that using a parchment paper so much easier. And you might notice that your batter may look a little bit like curdle. Don't worry about that. That's okay. Just continue to do what you're doing. We're just gonna give this a little mix because our eggs is already incorporated. So we just wanted to incorporate our lemon in there. And now we're gonna scrape off the sides and make sure everything is incorporated before we add our flour, because that is the last step. And if you were wondering, yes, our oven is preheated to 350 degrees. And remember all the measurements are down below in the description box. So that's where you'll find the full recipe and all the measurements for this yumminess. All right, so at this point, we are gonna put this on low speed and we're gonna add our flour slowly, okay? I'm actually gonna add it like this with a cup, one cup at a time. And let that incorporate and we're gonna add the other cup, just like so. And we're gonna add the other one and you can increase the speed halfway because you want this to start mixing and working. But remember, one of the keys to a good cake is not over mixing. Otherwise, you'll have bread, and we're not making bread here. I love bread, but today I'm craving a pancake. So I'm just gonna continue adding my dry ingredients, and then I'll show you the following step. So I wanted to quickly show you. You wanna mix for 20 seconds, okay? 20 seconds on medium speed. And then that's it. You shut it off and the rest, you're gonna do it with your spatula. So let's just take this out. All this batter off. Sorry about the tapping. Put that to the side and now we're gonna go with the spatula and we're gonna scrape our sides here. So you wanna make sure all of it is incorporated with your batter, nothing stays on your mixer. We work hard to buy these ingredients. So we don't want to waste them, right? We want everything in our ballet. All right. So now I'm just going to transfer this to my pan here. And the key here is you want to make sure everything is evened out as, you know, as good as possible. So. It's okay. All right, so at this point, I'm just scraping off some of the batter that's remaining in the bowl. Like I said, I want everything in here, and I just made sure that everything is evened out, as even as possible. Because you want your cake to be the same size on each side. So the best you can do, get it in there. And if it's a little bit messy, it doesn't matter. This is the part that's going on the bottom anyway. And this is for me. It's not for anybody else. So, it doesn't matter. All right, so I'm gonna get this in the oven. This is gonna bake at 350 degrees. My oven has been preheating um, just for about the time that has taken me to mix all of this. And you're gonna check it when is it around 50 minutes. Because this does take about an hour an hour and 10 minutes to bake. So, but at 50 minutes, you want to check it, insert a toothpick, uh, a uncooked raw spaghetti noodle, um, and if it comes out clean with no wet batter on it, then you know you're done. So, let's get baking. So my pound cake baked for exactly one hour. Give me that baby, please. Yeah, one hour and um, <clears throat> 10 minutes, yeah. and it's perfectly done. I let it cool for 30 minutes and now I'm going to take it out of here and we're going to cut into it because of course that's the best part. Oh. 
All right, so now, drum roll. Just gotta pray that this comes out. Oh, okay, look at that. Delicious and golden and oh my God. I wish you could really see how moist it is. Okay, so let's cut right into it. Got that my serrated knife here. I'm just gonna cut a small piece just so that you can see. Oh, come on. How good this looks. I just want you to get a closer look. Look how moist and soft that cake is. Look at that. It just falls apart. Mmm. And it tastes amazing. And it's super moist and delicious. Now with this recipe, I have to say, there are a ton of variations on this recipe, but most of them are all the same as far as the quantity of ingredients that you need. I thought it was a bit too much for me. It was a bit too heavy. So I <clears throat> tweaked the recipes to my liking. Um, it actually saves you money because you're going to use less ingredients than what it calls for. And it's absolutely amazing. I don't notice the difference. This recipe has been tried and tested. Um, I will never put something out there that it's not good, obviously. What's the point of that? So, the recipe is down below in the description box. Um, this baked, again, for 1 hour and 10 minutes. And it is absolutely amazing. you got to get in your kitchen and make this. Again, you can use any type of citrus or just, you know, you can take out the lemon. It doesn't really make a difference. Um, and this goes delicious with berries, but I'm just going to enjoy it this way. So, thanks for watching. Subscribe and please give this recipe a thumbs up. Have a great day.